Adobe have announced Acrobat 10, enabling you to use the full benefits of Adobe Acrobat Dynamic PDF. It's going to allow you to be more productive, create engaging content, and just get things done. Let's have a look. Acrobat 10 allows me to see all of the functions that I would need right here in the new panels. I can rotate pages, extract and so on, and even add things like headers and footers right here by just clicking on the options. And if I need to change the content, I can go here and do things like edit document text as easy as just selecting the text and hitting the delete key. Often we're faced with email attachments that are very confusing and we're not quite sure what to open and when. Adobe Acrobat 10 allows me to create PDF portfolios, portfolios containing multiple files in various formats that I can preview and open both in Adobe Acrobat and the free Adobe Reader. I can have native type file formats that I can open up in the native viewers, or I can have even types like engineering diagrams and other content that I can quickly navigate through and find the content I'm after. You can have interactive content created in Flash, and even web content such as the website that I'm previewing here right within Adobe Acrobat. Not only can I have static websites, but I can also have rich content such as video. In this case, this is video streaming straight from YouTube right within my player. Hello, and welcome to our beautiful Bayside City. Often when working with documents, we need to export, and Acrobat 10 has new export options to both Microsoft Word and other formats. In this case, I'm exporting to Microsoft Word, I'm saving the document to my desktop, and when I go ahead and do that, it's going to export into Microsoft Word format, ready for me to edit. If I open up the file now, what you'll see is we get a very good Word document, including things like the headers and footers, or real headers and footers. And if I move further down, I have a great table that's actually captured in tabular format. Going back to Acrobat, sometimes we just need parts of the document. So if I go back to that table, I can select it and at any time I can go up to the export menu or I can just say export the selection and in this case I'll select an Excel workbook and we'll just hit save. I have this time an Excel document and again this is now in Excel uh, spreadsheet format. Acrobat allows me to mark up and annotate documents. I can add sticky notes I can do text corrections. And I can even use tools like the cloud tool to actually mark up the drawing. When I'm finished, I can place a stamp. And you can see all of my comments are stored in the comment list here. I can use Acrobat in conjunction with Adobe's Acrobat.com service to send my documents out for anyone with the free Adobe Reader or Acrobat to start collaborating. You can see all the different comments here that have been made by other users in real time and I can simply check for new comments to bring those comments back into my latest document. I can create a comment summary that will explain all of the different comments now you can easily see where the comments are and how they relate to the actual document. New to Adobe Acrobat 10 are actions. The action wizard can be configured to record a series of steps that can be stepped through by an end user, driving consistency and predictability of results. If I step through this wizard now, you'll note that once I select the file to visit through, it's guiding me through a series of steps. So for instance, we're going to remove hidden information. So I just go and remove, tick the boxes where I'd like to remove the items from. So for instance, the sticky note here for public release will disappear. The next step after this will be to set up the document so it's searchable on the internet. So for this, we need to go and add a title. So I'll just write conference guide and I'll change the author to my name. And we move to the last step which is a corporate policy that mandates that we put 
uh, headers and footers on the document. So up comes the headers and footers wizard. We can do a preview so we can see that on every page we'll add the date. We click on OK and the action is completed. 